All right, so in this one, we are gonna be using a unique slug generator specifically for our pages. So if we look at our pages right now, or just go to admin, and let's make sure our server's running. Go to admin, pages, and we have multiple pages here, but I don't actually have a slug that's related to any given page. So there's a couple things that I'm gonna do, and the first thing is featured. That is, whatever's gonna be on my home page should have a setting of featured. And then every other page, even including my home page, should have its own slug so then I can go to that page. So let's say for instance, this should be knock dash two, and I should be able to see that other landing page if I want to. So this is gonna take a couple things. And let's go ahead and jump into our pages model. First of all, I wanna add in a couple items here, one of them being featured, and we'll do models.boolean field and we'll say default equals to false. And then we'll say active equals to models.boolean field, default equals to true. Okay, cool. So now that we've got that, I'm gonna actually override this save method. So every time it's saved, I'm gonna update all of the other pages, uh, specifically for featured, because I really only want one page featured, not all of the pages, just one. So if I change whichever page is featured, as in the home page, then that will change accordingly. Active will be related to when we want to display that one individual page on its own slug. So we're going to override the save method here, and it's going to take in self args and keyword args. And then we'll say if self.featured. So basically, if this is featured, then we want to change all page objects. So page.objects.all, and then dot .exclude pk equals to self.pk. So that's the query set that we wanna update. So this query set is basically saying every other page except for the one that's currently being saved. That's where self.pk comes in. And we'll say if qs.exists, then we'll say qs.update featured equals to false. That's it. And then finally after that we'll return, or excuse me, not return, but just do super page self save args and keyword args. Okay, so what's happening here is it's basically getting every item in there, including ones that may say featured. So you could take this one step further and just instead of literally updating all of them, you could say filter featured equals to true. Um, and that would actually make sure all of the ones that were fe featured are no longer featured. Um, so that's two different ways on how you could go about doing that. Uh, but I, the reason I did it as all is because we want to make sure that our pre-existing values are also not featured either. Um, so this is, since we just added this field, we can just go off of this versus the other one. Okay, cool. Um, so that's it for as far as the featured is concerned. The next thing is about active. Um, we can leave it as is. So we've made some changes. Let's go ahead and do python manage.py, make migrations, and then python manage.py, migrate. And then I'll do git status, git add, period, git commit, update featured items, git push Heroku master, and, and Heroku run python manage.py migrate. Okay, so it's pushing to the server and it's going to be running all the things that we need it to. Um, so now that we've got this featured item, we can actually go back into our home view and it's going off of this. Instead of all, we could just do filter featured equals to true and first. Now, of course, this is always gonna have, it's gonna have either have one or none. So in our case, we definitely wanna make sure that we have at least one item featured once we go back into the um, home or, or the basic stuff as far as the pages are concerned, which is what we'll do locally. It's running the migrations now. So since it's loading that, I'm gonna go ahead and just change into it again and have another terminal window running just so we have multiple. So we're gonna run that server again, and this one we'll just leave as our server. So now we're running here, knock HQ again. I'm gonna make sure that this one's featured. I hit save, um, and if I do knock two, notice it's not featured. If I hit featured and hit save, I go back to knock HQ, that one's no longer featured. And the page, the home page should adjust accordingly, right? So if I do knock two and hit featured, I hit save, it should sound now say knock two on that home page, and it does, right? 
So as expected, then I change this and there we go. Cool. So this is a programmatic way to change what's featured. That's really important when it comes to our homepage. Notice everything else is still working fine. Now, even with knock two, so let's go ahead and go into knock two again. And let's have that one working. Hit featured, hit save, and we go to that home page again, and we leave still the same stuff. It's still working because that's how we designed it. We designed it specifically to be that way. Okay, cool. So now that we've got that, what I wanna do is get to the level where I have my own um, pages showing up that are not necessarily the home view page or the main detail view page. I wanna show other ones. So we'll do detail view here. And this is gonna be related to our actual page model. And let's go ahead and create it. So underneath the home view, I'll just say class page. Let's go ahead and give us some space here. So page detail view, and it takes in the detail view. We'll just do model equals to page. And we'll say objects, or excuse me, not objects, but query set equals to page.objects.filter active equals to true. Um, so this means that if we put any of them deact or not active, then it's gonna run what a 404 error, which we'll test out in just a moment. So I'm gonna grab this page detail view and I'm gonna bring it into my um, URLs. And inside of here, I'm gonna go ahead and copy this right here, paste it in, and we'll do page detail view. And then we need our keyword argument for what's gonna be going through or being passed to this detail view. Um, so we can actually go to our GitHub. So github.com slash coding for entrepreneurs. We go to the guides here and we wanna look for the common URL regular expressions pattern guide. And we want the one for slug, which is this right here. I'm gonna go ahead and copy that. And we're gonna paste that in here. And there's our now slug that's gonna be related to the detail view. And we'll just do page dash detail for the URL name. We save that and we go back into our home page, and we'll do knock two, we hit enter. Uh, it's not actually working because it's looking for a slug that doesn't exist. So in the next one, we'll actually add the slug and then have some uniqueness to those slugs themselves. If you have any questions on what we did here, let us know. Otherwise, let's keep going.